Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I'm going to be trying out the Dreams So Big eyeshadow palette from the brand Real Her. And this is a palette that I got in my June 2021 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So if you have not seen that unbagging yet, of course, I'll have that video linked in the description down below. So let's check out this palette. It's vegan, cruelty-free, talc-free, infused with vitamin E and coconut oil. It has a retail value of $28. So here's the packaging. I mean, nothing too exciting from the packaging. <laughs> But I do like that it has a big mirror and there are nine shades in here. So one, two, three, four, five, looks like five matte shades, four shimmer shades. First, I want to go ahead and swatch a few of these. So I definitely want to swatch this shimmery shade. Ooh, some good matte browns that I feel like are essential shades for the eyeshadow looks I like to do. They do have a very soft texture. Ooh, nice and pigmented metallic. Whoa! Okay, that light shimmery shade is beautiful. That was like shocking how pigmented and bright that is. I love that shade. The mattes, pretty good. Ooh, that shimmer sparkle is very beautiful as well. I'm definitely more impressed by the swatches of the shimmer sparkle shades. Those are incredible. The mattes don't seem too bad either though. They seem pretty true to how they look in the pan. So here are what those swatches look like. A nice mauve brown type of color scheme that I like. And just like I always do, I'm going to review this palette with and without an eyeshadow primer. So just applying the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion to one of my eyelids and blending it all over the lid. I'm gonna bring it up to that brow as well because we have a very beautiful highlight shade that I wanna put on the brow. And I also love that there is a light matte shade. So I'm gonna take this one here and just dust this all over the lid to set that primer and prep the lid. This is doing a pretty good job of also canceling out some discoloration in the eyelid. So it's a nice shade to just wear alone, even if you're not doing an eyeshadow look. All right, I wanna just clean this brush off, but I'm actually gonna use my finger to apply the highlight. So this is such a gorgeous shimmer shade. It would be great on the lid, but perfect brow bone highlight. It's almost duochrome, like a gold shift. So pretty. And so sparkly, I love it. I'm also gonna go ahead and use this shade in the inner corner. Oh my gosh, so brightening. I love this. All right, so there's a good option for transition shade here. I think I'm gonna start with this one. There's definitely kickback in these shades, but okay, I'm gonna blend this from crease to brow bone. Hi 
I don't feel like this shade is showing up too, too much. Okay. And I feel like I'm applying a lot, trying to see the color, get it to show up, but I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm not really seeing it. And it's very dusty and messy. Maybe I'll pick up this shade in the corner here and see if that can darken up the transition a little bit. Yeah, I think this is helping. Yeah, that looks good. And then I also have two matte brown options for the crease. I think I'll choose this one down here. Although I feel like these two both can serve a very similar purpose. I don't like how dusty and kickback and fallout these shades are. But ooh, this one's blending out really nicely. This one has good pigment. I love this as a crease shade. That gives some nice depth to the eye. All right, and so now I like to put a darker shade in the outer corner to help lift the eye and create more depth there. But really, my dark shade options are shimmery. But that's all right, I'm gonna try picking up the dark shimmery brown and blending this into that outer V. I'm gonna try and do a little bit more of a diffused, subtle dark brown in the outer corner here because this is what I wear more on a daily basis. Just a more toned down neutral eyeshadow look. Ooh, that looks really pretty. I really like how that looks. It doesn't even look very shimmery when you blend this dark brown shade out, but it gives really good dimension to the eye and really enhances the eye shape. These are really easy to blend shades, which is really great. Okay, I'm loving how the eyes are looking right now. And I guess I've pretty much used every single shade in the palette, but then we've got these two shimmers to go on the lid. So I think I'll take the shimmery pink for the lid and then I'll put the shimmery brown on the lower lash line. Because I love pink shimmer, so of course I want to incorporate this into the eyeshadow look. And this is really pretty. This has a lot of sparkle to it and I love the tone. Ahead and blend that all together. Oh, I love this. This is a really go-to, probably like my most often worn type of eyeshadow look. Because I love to play with the dimensions, the contours, and different neutral shades, but then add a pop of sparkle on the lid, especially a pink sparkle like this. And I think it's great too when I can get use out of every shade in a palette, because then you really can get your money's worth. Yeah, I'm loving this eyeshadow look. And then just taking a small brush, I'll pick up the sparkly brown. I love a sparkly brown on the lower lash line. That looks so pretty. I feel like it helps keep the eye open and brightened. And here's the finished eyeshadow look. I really, really like it. So this is the eye with the primer. This is the eye without the primer and they look the same, which is great that the pigment, how they blend, is the same with and without the primer. 
And I feel like this is such a great transitional type of eyeshadow look and type of eyeshadow palette. You can definitely do day to night or even the same eyeshadow look like what I have on here would be good for day and night. Very cohesive shades. So I really like this. I think that the shades are easy to blend, pigmented. So I am definitely going to get good use out of this. I love that it has all of the shades that I need that I would reach for. So it would be a great travel palette, especially with the big mirror here. That is a key when I'm looking for a travel palette. I got two eyeshadow palettes in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month, and this is my favorite out of the two. The Vise Art palette just was not impressing me, and the shades I don't love as much as I like the shades in this palette. So let me know if you've tried this palette out, what your thoughts are on it, what types of eyeshadow looks you like to do with it, and thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.